welcome. Oh, hello there. Welcome to 7 Minute Runs Reviews. I nearly messed up that intro, and I probably should have restarted, but we're just going to roll with it anyways, because I have enough energy. Anyways, this is Lee King Rick. So I have three accounts. Lee King James is the newest and is a alternate account that I've been working on for a while. Sub project, it's not going to use any GLs in GAC or in PvP because I don't want it to. Only PvE. Lee King Rick is the focused account, which like you can tell because look at it. There is not a single bad unit up here except for uh, Relic Requests. Even then, I have the only one that is not used. Anyways, we're going to scroll back up to the top. A really good deep account that I that has two GLs and you know the two GLs that require the least amount of bloat because a lot of it correlates with each other. Anyways, we're just going to start rolling through. We are going to start with the 50 Ferris as we normally do. Gas, Relic 7, uh, all of this other stuff, really good. Uh, bad Batch, I didn't go out and get the Marquis, that's on me. Bounty Hunters, I have three of them and get 12. I have Django because I need to start working on him. Dengar, Grief, with the two Zetas, pretty nice. Uh, Grado, Embo, Cat Banes, and Mandalorian. I pretty much have two Bounty Hunter teams. I can count one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I have two Bounty Hunter teams, man. It's, it's kind of hard to beat. Droid teams. I have the General Grievous droids because I, of course, I do. I have a lot of things. And then, you know, all the other droids. Empire. Now, because I have C, it's kind of a little bloated, but. I should be working on some of my troopers right now. And besides that, I'm also working on Jedi Master Luke Skywalker. So, yeah. So, yeah, I'm working for, towards AML. Uh, these Ewoks, they're they're done. I got C-3PO. I don't need anything else. First Order, I don't know what else I need to explain. I have Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. Uh, Fleet Commanders, ignore that. Um, Galactic Republic. I have a Padme team. I have my gas team, and then I have Grandmaster Yoda for uh, the Revan. Geos, I have Spy at level 2, uh, Brewed at 4, and the rest here 12. Works really nicely. I like it. Imperial Troopers, as you can tell, like I, I'm kind of neglecting them, but I use Death Trooper and Rain Trooper just as kind of, I'm not going to say throw ins, but as throw ins. Jawas are okay. Jedi, again, I use Jedi Knight Revan, Grandmaster Yoda, Jolly Bindo, Hermit Yoda, and either Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker or, or Bastila. Works really well. Night Sisters, really good. Gear 12, Zombie, rest of the Relic, they're nice. Old Republic, you know, it's your basic Old Republic scoundrel team. Phoenix, I have them geared up because they have good ships and as there's a good Jedi to put in if I need to, you know, stretch out. Rebels, again, there's a reason why I'm working towards JML is because I have the Rebels that are necessary. Unlocked, at least. Like my Mothma, I'll need to work on and 3PO and Chupio I need to work on, but all the other ones just need, like, Relic levels and gear, so I'm not that mad. Rebel Fighters, you know, it really niche faction. Resistance. I have the basics for resistance. I have the Red Eye, the Jedi Trading Ray, the R2, the BB-8, Vet Smuggler, or Vet Han for, or from SLKR, and then Finn. Use it as a second tank, and use Resistance Trooper. Uh, eventually work on Poe and Finn to plug in, and then, you know, eventually go get Go get her. Uh, Nest is gear 11. Quite a, it's okay. Uh, I don't really run many other scoundrels on this team. Or on Rick. Separatist look pretty good. I have Watt. I have Newt. I have this. I have that. Separatist. Dark side is an amazing faction. Don't let anyone tell you different. I have Treya. I have Cyan. I have Nihilus. All like in relic levels or just need a relic finisher. Sith Empire Trooper is really good. I like um, Darth Maul really is just to be a sacrifice of Sith Eternal or to lead Treya against bugs if they're 
a really, really Jacob Blood Sith Empire. Really only missing Sith Assassin. And that's all uh, for ships. I am currently farming. Basically what I'm doing for ships is I'm trying to finish the ones that are not 7 star yet. Which is the TIE Reaper. And the Gauntlet Starfighter as of now. And also I'm trying to get Holdo ship. Anything though I hate Holdo and Holdo ship in, the, in general. But X1, Command Shuttle, Silencer, Emperor Shuffle. So like I have a dark side. I have two different dark side fleets actually. Because I'm a, or three, I should be realistic here, along with two light side fleets, is because I'm able to run the First Order fleet, Empire fleet, and a Separatist fleet, along with a Galactic Republic fleet, and a uh, Rebel fleet. I'm able to run a Bounty Hunter fleet with like Evan Hawk and Slave One, and all of the others with uh, like Executrix. Yeah, I use up pretty much all my ships. Because like when you have this much of a roster, you need to be able to use all your ships to your advantage. And I'm able to do that pretty reliably. As for, you know, using resistant ships, uh, mm -mm -mm. usually I don't use Gauntlet Starfighter or Sith Fighter or Orlando's Millennium Falcon or Consular or Resistance X-Wing or Poe Dameron's X-Wing to get that, as a matter of fact. I really don't use those. They're fine, don't get me wrong, but like, so much better uses out there than just using those ships. Anyways, this and the one thing that needs to be added to ships is a tab for me to make ship squads. Like, you know how characters have their squads? Yeah, ships needs love. Anyways, that is a roster review on my, on one of my rosters. That is all. Seven.